What's poppin', boys and girls? Saber Wolf 94, and of course I'm gonna show games with Shiny Ray Zone, Shiny Rayquaza Magnezone deck. It's gonna be a short game, but it's gonna be a perfect example uh, for you guys to see the power of uh, Shiny Rayquaza. Uh, it's called Shiny Rayquaza, but I hate calling that, so I call it Shiny Rayquaza. Anyway, uh, my opponent is gonna be playing a very similar deck, a uh, more powerful deck, technically, and it's going to be the Magnezone, uh, the Metal Magnezone, with the Duskmane Necrozmas. So basically, uh, he's utilizing uh, a better Magnezone, kind of, and a better attacker. Because uh, Duskmane Necrozma GX is just perfect, uh, the perfect blend of uh, Rayquaza EX and this dude. Has a very flexible attack, a stronger attack, and, you know, the GX attack, another regular attack for 80, I guess if you want to use that, more HP, it's just a perfect Pokemon. Very, very good. So he opened up with his attacker, I opened up with my attacker, uh, Duskman Necrozma, and Shiny Rayquaza, face to face. Uh, we didn't get anything else, but uh, as you guys can see, I do have the Heavy Balls and the Lily. So in this case, I can grab the other Shiny Rayquazas and set up in my hand so we can draw many cards with Lily. And he's gonna Ultra Ball, grab the tap Lily, standard stuff, basic play. Let's see what kind of supporter he's gonna get. Possibly, yeah, Bridget. Uh, like I've said, I'm favoring Lily in this case. Uh, yeah, but I guess he's running Bridget too. So he's gonna grab three, three cards, uh, three basic Pokemon. I guess it's going to be Magnemites, yeah, uh, he only grabbed one, or two actually, one electric one, one lightning one, and one metal one, okay, that's kind of uh, interesting, don't know why, I guess maybe he didn't have another one, or maybe he's running it for the retreat, anyways, uh, we're going to be using the heavy balls here, uh, normally you, w you would probably want to use this for Magnezone, but in this case, I'm going to go super fast. I want to utilize the Lily as much as, as good as I can. Uh, draw many cards here. Right. So, we're going to play it, and I'm going to be drawing four cards. Uh, it's okay. It could have been better, but, you know, since we had the other bunch of supporters in hand, it is what it is. So, I drew the Magnemite, and I also drew a Mime. So, the Mime is probably useless in this kind of matchup, but I'm still going to bench it so that uh, in case my opponent ends or next turn when I end, uh, thin my fucking hand, you know, basic stuff. Okay, so nothing really to do. I'm going to, I attach the fire energy on the Rayquaza, the bench one, just in case he gets ready this turn and knocks out my active dude. Uh, we do have a Magnemite, we do have the rare candy in hand, but no Magnezone and no energies. Uh, but I have supporters, so next turn, hopefully we do some shit. And he did get the Magnezone out, as I kind of feared. Uh, in these sorts of decks, it's important to have a lead. Uh, basically, the deck that has uh, the best lead sets up quicker <laughs> and starts knocking out Pokemon quicker is probably going to win. And uh, he's going to draw a lot of cards with Cynthia, too. Attach two Metal Energies. Uh, three actually on the shiny Rayquaza and uh, He didn't manage to get the fourth one. So just just gonna do 60 Wow, I thought the attack was 80 for three, but I guess it's 60. It's even more useless than I thought then uh, Yeah, not a great attack then but I guess Maybe sometimes you don't always want to do crazy damage. So it's it's nice to have that little flexible option It's probably better than Dragon Pulse. I mean Yeah Okay, so I am here, and it is pretty significant that he didn't get the knockout on me. And if I start getting knockouts, it should be pretty good. So we're going to use the Professor's Letter, get two Lightning Energies, and I have a Fire. If I attached the Fire one the previous turn and the Active one, we would have had a, a knockout now. But right now, what I'm going to do is... Uh, we're going to have to spend the switch, honestly. I'm going to attach the Lightning Energies on the Bench 1 with 2 Fire and 2 Lightning. I should be able to get the attack. And we're going to get a crazy good knockout here. My opponent probably didn't even see it coming. 
going to attach the Fury belt on. Uh, it's probably not going to make uh, that much of a difference, but I guess we're going to put it on. And Sky Judgment, this is going to be perfect. We get the knockout here. I'm going to attach two lightning energies, detach, this card, <laughs> detach, uh, and the fire. But as you guys can see, uh, it worked out. Uh, we have this flexible option, discarding fire, two fire energies, for example, or a fire energy and two lightning to do the attack. Uh, the other Rayquaza, the Rayquaza EX from Dragon's Exalted, can't do that. Okay, so I'm in a pretty good position here. Uh, the advantage I have as well is that my dudes give one prize, his dudes give two prizes. So this is actually a pretty good deck against uh, this Metal Magnezone Necrozma Duskmane Necrozma deck. Because if you guys set up uh, both, I guess, uh, evenly, or maybe if you set up slower than it, uh, you, your guys only give one prize, and you get easy two prizes. Uh, Rayquaza does exactly 190 damage to knock this dude out in one hit, no problem. I mean, I guess it could be trouble if it had the Fury Belt on, but we got our choice bands and shit too. So my opponent used the GX attack, uh, kind of out of desperation, he probably realized... Well, I have to get a knockout, and it's the only move I can make, so, right. Uh, surprisingly, didn't have enough energies, uh, didn't have the fourth one. It should be easier for him to have energies, I mean. They have the Mount Coronet Stadium, too, but I got rid of that uh, for my stadium, because I know they really rely on it. So, we're in a pretty good position here still. Uh, my opponent got the knockout, but I'm going to get another knockout here. Uh, we're going to grab the Energy Retrieval with Skyla, and I have a Professor's Letter here. So, everything I need to get another Knock God. Uh, we have Tabulele too, so I'll be able to grab a Supporter too. So, things are really just going perfect. Uh, you, you can't get more perfect uh, than this uh, with this deck. So, I'm going to grab the two Lightning Energies with Professor's Letter, and we're going to use the Energy Retrieval, grab two from the Discard Pa. One fire, one lightning, and I have just enough to get the job done once again. So excellent, excellent. And, I mean, my opponent has like a loose energy on the Magnezone. I never understood why he attached it uh, so many turns before. I think he attached it like in the same turn he put three energies on the Necrozma. I'm not sure, but it is what it is. So, my Rayquaza is ready to go, and, uh, wow, I didn't even, I mean, actually, I Skylad, yeah, so we can't use the supporter this turn, I Skylad, but next turn, we have Tapu Lele ready for uh, Juniper, it's perfect, man, it's it's going perfect, your, your deck isn't going to flow any better than this, uh, if it flows like this, you should be good, okay, so we got a Lightning Energy from the prizes, this is useful. Uh, it's always nice to grab Lightning Energies after you get a knockout. Kind of help you for next turn with these decks. Uh, the collection of energies is very important in these decks. It really is. And my opponent is going to promote the Magnezone. Uh, I mean, I guess he could use this dude to get a knockout on Rayquaza, since you know it only has 120 HP. It might actually be better if he had a bunch of Magnezones out, instead of, uh, you know, spending the Duskmane across my GX and losing two prizes this way. But, uh, he used the Stretcher, grabbed another uh, Duskmane across my, gonna play that down, but it's really, he's in a tough spot, <laughs> he really doesn't have a chance, honestly. I mean, the only way would be to target down my Magnezone, I'm always fearful of that, it is a very... Uh, smart play to do that at the right time. Uh, you always aim to get two out, but I didn't manage to get another one out yet. So this is what he's going to do. Wow. Uh, so Guzma uh, pulled back, uh, pulled the Magnezone, but it seems he didn't have enough energies to get the job done. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to attach the lightning energies to the Rayquaza. I guess I'm thinking, well, oh... Might as well attach the energies in case Magnezone is stuck and dies. I need to have my dude ready. But we're going to try and do something here. I'm hoping I'm going to see the Float Stone. 
with my Tapu Lele here, when I use Juniper, I should have the Float Stone in the deck, unless it's prized, if we're unlucky. Okay, so seven new cards, let's see. I mean, it's either the Float Stone or three energies, and I can get the job done. So I think we're kind of good here. I did get two energies and the energy retrieval. So I think it should be done. Yeah, this should be done. I have enough energies in the discard pile to grab. So yeah, it is game here. I'm going to be able to retreat the Magnezon with energies. And it's just perfect, man. It's perfect. Perfect game. So right, we're going to attach the energies and basically attack the game. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I, it should be a good example of the power of uh, uh, shiny, shiny Ray Zone, shiny Rayquaza. Once it gets going, not all of your games are going to be this perfect, but this is just a, a great game where everything went almost perfect. Honestly, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this with your friends. Say Wolf 94, and yeah, my opponent scoops. I'm going to show more games with shiny Rayquaza. And what's up?